Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. So we have to find the equation of the curve passing through the origin. Given that the slope of the tangent of the curve at this point that is dy by dx is the slope is equal to sum of coordinates of the point that is this guy is equal to x plus y. That is what it's given. Right, and I have to find the equation of the curve. This I can write as dy by dx minus y is equal to x. So if you compare this, uh, this is the first order linear differential equation. So p here is minus one, and q here is x. Correct, because dy by dx plus p y is equal to q. So I'll find i f very easily. i f will be to the bar p dot dx that becomes e to the power minus 1 dot dx that is e to the power minus x that becomes my i f. So my solution is y into i f is equal to integration of q into i f dot dx plus constant. So I get y into i f e to the power minus x is equal to integration of q. q is what x e to the power minus x dot dx plus c. This is the equation I have got. Correct. Now I have to find the integral of this. This is a little tricky. Right. So this you can find and this value you will get as minus e to the power minus x x plus y. So if you are having difficulty in solving this equation watch my integral videos. We have a lot of videos on this. You can solve x e to the power minus x very easily right so I got this so to solve you get y plus x plus 1 into e to the power minus x is equal to c or you can say that y plus x plus 1 is equal to c into e to the power x that is my answer. Not a difficult question the only thing is to understand this language that dy by dx is equal to x plus y that is the first step. Second step is to understand that this guy is a first order differential equation. So you understand then then you find if and then solving is not that difficult. Again to find the equation of the curve passing through point 0 comma 2. The question says some of the coordinates at any point of the curve exceeds the magnitude of the slope or the tangent of the curve at that point by phi. That means the question says that if you have dy by dx the slope of the curve right and you have sum of x plus y this guy exceeds this guy by phi. Correct. See the sum of this sorry it's other way around actually. So let me write this sum of the coordinates that is x plus y exceeds the magnitude of slope that is dy by dx by phi. This is what the quotient says. Right? So the x plus y minus dy by dx is equal to phi. This is what quotient says. If you rewrite this, this becomes dy by dx minus y is equal to x minus phi. So if you compare this guy with dy by dx plus py dy by dx plus py plus q is equal to q with this equation we compare you get p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to x minus y. Correct. Similar to the last question actually. So with this I will find if first that becomes e to the power minus 1 dot dx that is e to the power minus x right. So now I will say solution is y into if is equal to q into 1 uh, if the whole thing integration dot dx plus some constant or you get y into e to the power minus x is equal to integration of q is x minus 5 into e to the power minus x right dot dx plus some constant that's what you get so if you solve this this guy if you solve this this becomes y into e to the power minus x is equal to 4 minus x e to the power minus x plus 7. This is my 
general solution right this is my general solution but i am looking for particular solution in this case why because i told that 0 comma 2 is a point so that means i will get the value of c so if 0 comma 2 is point i'll put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 we get 2 e to the power minus 0 is equal to 4 minus x is 0 e to the power minus 0 plus correct this becomes So with this guess, she is equal to you get uh, e to the power minus zero is one. This is also one. So two minus four, you get c is equal to two minus four is minus two. I got the value of c. I just put the value of c here. I get the final equation that is y. I'll put y minus four plus x into e to the power minus x is equal to c. That is minus two. So plus two is equal to zero. So this is my final solution or I can say x plus y minus 4 plus 2 e to the power x equals that is also correct. So the only thing is here is I found the value of c and put the value of c and I got this answer. Let's take one last question. So it says that dy by dx minus 3y cot x is equal to sine 2x. We can see it's a differential equation only. So where p will be my P is minus 3 cortex, correct? Minus 3 cortex. This is Py and Q is sine 2 x. This guy is Q. So same thing I'll find integrating factor that is e to the power p dot dx that is e to the power minus 3 cortex dx that is e to the power minus 3 log of sine x that is e to the power log of 1 by sine cube x. Correct. And this becomes 1 by sine cube x. So I got if as this guy. Please note, this guy minus 3 log sine x becomes log of 1 by sine cube x. How? Because it was minus 3 so it becomes, uh, it was 3 here, right? So it becomes sine cube and minus, so it was 1 by this. Solution is simple, y into if is equal to integration of q into if dot dx plus c. Or I can say that y into 1 by sine cube x is equal to integration of q, that is sine 2 x into 1 by sine cube x dot dx plus c. Correct. Sine 2 is I can write as 2 sin x cos x. So let me write that. 2 sin x into cos x. Right? Sine and 1 sin is cancelled. This becomes sin square x. So this becomes cos x into sin square x. That is cot x by into cos x. So this is nothing but integration of 2 cos x x cot x dx plus c correct so if you so integrate this you get two into cos x plus c right minus so you got this guy is this so my my solution came out to be y is equal to minus two cos x into sine cube x plus c into sine cube x. Correct. So it says y is equal to 2 at x equal to pi by 2 or 2 at x equal to pi by 2 cosec pi by 2 is again 1 into sine pi by 2 is 1 plus c is 1. Right. So with this I get c is equal to 2 plus 2 this side this becomes 4. So I got C as 4. I'll just put the value of C as 4 in this equation and that is my final equation because this is my general solution. So in this I'll put C is equal to 4 to get the final solution. So I get y is equal to minus 2 cosec into sine square x sine cube x that is sine square x plus C is 4 sine cube x and that is my answer. Correct?
So nothing great. I found that this guy is a first order linear differential equation. I found IF. I found this equation y is into IF is equal to integration of QI dot dx dot c. I found the integration of this and then I got this general solution. I had this information that y is going to do when x equal to pi by 2. I put this to get the value of c and thus I got a particular solution. Particular solution. Correct. I hope with this you have fair understanding of linear differential equations and how to solve this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.